What's up, cats? It's your goddess, goddess of unique breedings and sorrows. And I'm here doing a love spread for my Capricorns. How are you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me. I appreciate that. I ain't a little turned up like I was last time. I don't know why I was so turned up, but I was pretty excited. Uh, actually, those were my first videos. So, the Capricorn Collective of May 2nd and May 7th were messages. Those were uh, my first videos. So, if you happen to see those, those will be legendary. Because I'm going to be back. And I'm doing it better and greater. And I just pray that y'all be able to like um, to comment, to subscribe to my channel because that will really help my channel to grow. Um, I've been doing a lot of spiritual work on myself and, um, I want to, um, help people and guide people and show people, uh, the way, uh, that could really help them to live, um, abundant life, successful life. And, um, and I'm trying to lead the way, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people have their thoughts, but it is what it is. If you hear, obviously it's a message for you to hear, okay? I'm actually shuffling the cords for my Capricorn Collective, May 2nd to May 7th, weekly love message, Capricorn Collective, May 2nd to May 7th. Weekly love messages, Capricorn Collective, May 2nd to May 7th. Weekly, weekly love messages, love shuffle, my Capricorn Collective. Spirit, show me core messages. Yes, thank you. All right. And I'm doing an exclusive reading for you guys. You were the first sign that um, Spirit asked me to do a reading on today. Um, so... Let's see what's going on. I actually heard the song. I got what you want. I got what you need. <clears throat> Let me find out. It's early in the morning, so excuse me. Can I get another shot? This time I'll make it hot. Who's singing that? Who is singing that to who? Let's see. I got what you want. No, I don't know who sang it. Y'all know. Y'all can look it up. All you gotta do is say, I got what you want. <laughs> look how it I got what you need. Can I get another shot? Hey, this time they'll make it hot. Are you saying they caps it in? Let's see. Alright, let's see what's going on, Cap. Alright, let's see what's going on, Cap. Alright, I got what you want. Why is it stuck in my head? I got what you need. Alright, Caps. Alright, let's say a Capricorn collective. Honestly, y'all being so rude, and I'm so disappointed. If I say I'm recording, that's what it is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Goodbye. How dare you? You better teach them why they're young. Not playing. I literally just told them I'm recording. I mean... Come on, man. That was rude. You got to teach your kids early. You hear me? Let's talk. Capricorn Collective Reading. Weekly Reading. I apologize. We all got kids. So y'all know what it is. But I got to teach them early. I don't play no games. If I say I'm recording, that means I'm making my money. I'm just being honest. That means I'm at work. So don't I, use eight. Why? Maybe it resonates with somebody. You know. Disciplining your kids. 
I don't know where it came from. My kids coming at her. But anyway, all right, let's get to your weekly love reading Capricorn from May 2nd to May 7th. Let's go. Clear messages, spirit, for my Capricorn collective, May 2nd to May 7th. Can you show me what I need to see, please? Clear messages for my Capricorn collective. Pass. Oh. Can you tell me what I need to see? For the past, we have the Eight of Cups. The King of Swords. The King of Swords is a loyal person. He's honest. He's truthful. Okay? He's seeking truth. He seeks truth and actually walked away with the Eight of it is the Eight of Cups. With the Eight of Cups energy, he actually walked away. This person, Capricorn, you walked away from something, a situation, because someone was honest and truthful, or you was honest and truthful, and someone walked away. Chappelle's spirit, give me present for my Capricorn collective May 2nd to May 7th. Spirit, can you give me present energy for my Capricorn collective May 2nd to May 7th? Four of Wands. Four of Wands is my marriage cord. Four of Wands is happiness. Four of Wands it's satisfaction, festivities. Four of Wands is actually, it looks good. Let's go. Okay, what our future, the future Capricorn Collective. Oh, it's already out. Let me find it out. I'm No. Whoa. That's crazy. So, I mean, they're giving a spill out. But, whoa. Okay. So, you got the Four of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and you got the Chariot. Let me explain something, okay? So, for your future, you actually, or it could, it could have been happening, take what resonates Capricorn and leave back what for another Capricorn. What doesn't resonate, you don't take with you. It's part of it, so you got to know. But, this is a particular story for a Capricorn. So, you meditated and you healed and... You had to cap off. You had to chill. You was tired. You was tired. You had to. You had to lay back with the four swords energy because you got the ace of swords. Ace of swords is truth and clarity from the divine, from God. Then you receive an ace of wands. So this means a passion, a fiery passion. After meditating and get this truth and clarification, you have a fiery passion with the chariot cord. It means you are taking off, you're making a decision. Honestly, they're moving quick. The chariot moves quick. Okay? Comment below. Let me res. I mean, let me know if it resonates. Okay, for for spirit guys advice, and I will be clarifying all these cards. For spirit God's advice, you have the six of swords trying to escape a situation, and future like the outcome for Capricorn Collective, May second to May seven. Spirit, show me what I need to see. All right, you have the death court, which is transition, renewal, rebirth, balance, temperance court. You're trying to balance out a renewal, transition, rebirth, 
in the Ten of Cups. A happy home. Love. Kids. Dog. Beautiful. Light shining. It's actually, is that angels or mermaids in every cup? Like, plenty of love. Anyway, okay, so, you get it? So, in the past, you got the king of swords and the eight of cups, so I'm going to just go ahead. I'm not going to say no more stuff. No more. The name of the uh, court. But listen, I'm about to tell you your story layout. <clears throat> so, in the past. You actually get, was truthful or someone was truthful about a situation which made a person walk away. Presently, you have the Four of Wands, which is achievement, uh, uh, happiness, um, festivities, uh, my marriage court. For the future, we got the, okay, so you meditated. You actually did some healing. Okay, when you get clarification from God, the divine, this is the Ace of Swords, and you begin to have this fiery passion, and when you got this fiery passion, you took off in that direction to who you had that passion for. Okay, God's advice is seeking a way to escape, and your future is transition, renewal, rebirth. Balancing things out to get your ten of cups, to get your happiness, your home, your love, your abundance. All right. I like that. With ten of wands on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Ten of wands is feeling burdened. And you have a tower next. So this is under the surface. Okay. Let's check out. What is going on? Because I can't put it together. I don't know who is who. So you get being loyal, being honest, made someone walk away. Can you give me more on this King of Swords energy spirit? Can you give me more on this King of Swords energy? You have the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. One more chord, please, spirit. Oh, thank you. But actually, two more, huh? Whoa, you got the emperor and the lovers. Wow. Okay, so you got this queen of wands. Queen of wands is a Leo's, Leo, Aries, a Sagittarius. With the will of fortune. And then we have the emperor. Someone in emperor energy. Which that is you. So you was honest and loyal. I mean, you was honest and truthful with the Queen of Wands. The wheel is turning with the Queen of Wands and the Emperor. And then you got the lovers. You got the lovers. Give me more on this walking away. Walking away. Oh, okay. So... You actually walked away. Is somebody coming to you with the Knight of Swords energy? Coming to you quick. Leaving, when, leaving you with conflicted thoughts. Okay? It's lovers. This Queen of Wands. So you walked away from something that came into you quick. That gave you conflicted thoughts. Mm, hold on. That's too many. I can't even take it. Oh. I have to take this. So you actually, somebody came to you, came to you quick. With the sword. So they didn't play no games. They were straight to the point. Which gave you conflicted thoughts. You started 
to use your intuition with the high priest, which led you to clarification with the Ace of Swords. Give me more spirit. You get clarification on secrets, on the unknown with this Queen of Pentacles. You have a victory card. Ah, which led you to victory. Who is this Queen of Swords? Oh my goodness. Capricorn, why do you have all these energies? I'm trying to figure out. So, you was truthful and loyal. I mean, you was loyal. I mean, you was honest and truthful with the Queen of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune with the Emperor. That's changing to the lovers. So, the Wheel is going in a good way. For your soulmate connection. This is a soulmate because this is a lover's. You walked away from someone that came to you quick with a sword that left you with conflicted ideas. That you had to use your intuition. They gave you clarification. Damn, excuse me, I'm sorry. It gave you clarification because you used your intuition about secrets that came out about a queen of pentacles which gave you victory. That's why you walked away. But you got this queen of swords right here and I'm going to go ahead and clarify the queen of swords. Like, is that you? Cutting people out? Is that you, Capricorn? Because I'm like, you got a lot of people here, but that totally can be you. You know? Or it can be someone else. It's a victory to the Queen of Swords. And when you go to the Queen of Swords, you got to tell the truth. You have to tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah. You want in as a knight of wands. You want in with passion. And you want in quick in a hurry with passion to this queen of swords. But you can't lie to this queen of swords because she will cut you off. She knows the truth before you even get to her. So honestly, you have to come to her correct. You're going to... You went. So this is the past. So we definitely about to get on to the present. So you went towards this Queen of Swords. You're going towards this Queen of Swords or you went towards this Queen of Swords to have a victory because some secrets was found out about a Queen of Pentacles. Because you used your intuition. You walked away from somebody coming to you quick with conflicted, making your thoughts conflicted. Okay, D, I know you got out of that. I'm not even going to go there. So, we got the four of wands as the four of wands as your present chord. Give me more of the four of wands, sir. Give me more of the four of wands, sir, please. Okay. Give me more on the four lines, please, sir. Can you give me more on the four lines, please? Oh. Can you? Oh. Okay, so you have options to balance out about a work situation. 
that can lead you to achievement, romance, and festivities. You have options that you need to balance out. This Three of Pentacles could be a three-way party. It could be a third party, or it could be a working partnership. Give me more on this Three of Pentacles. So, you have options to balance out about a working opportunity, or... Uh, a working opportunity that <laughs> you have your heart covered up. You're definitely like indecisive. You got the two of swords. But then you got the eight of wands, which is communication. So for the present, you get the four of wands, which is festivities and marriage. You have options with the seven of cups that you need to balance out with a working partnership or a three-way party. Probably a three-way party. Because all these, all these people in her, I'm pretty sure it's another party. That you are indecisive about communication is coming in or going out. Communication, more on this communication. Communication with a toxic relationship or someone being obsessed with you that's working hard to get their two of cups with you. So, you have an option, you got to balance it out with a worker, working partnership that you're indecisive about. With the Eight of Wands, you got acceleration, communication. So it could be acceleration or communication with the toxic, or this is your energy, Capricorn, um, with a person that could be obsessed with you. Uh, Look like this person's all over the place, too. Um, working hard. They are working hard to get your two of cups. To get love with you. To share a love with you. That's what's going on in the present. All right. I'm going to give you now the future. Uh, your future with the four of swords. So, you actually, I'm sorry I'm not giving too much ad contact, but I'm trying to give you your story because I know what's going on. So, you actually meditated, um, you sat back, and you got clarification from the divine, from God, that led you to an ace of wands, which is an opportunity or a passion this is a love reading, so a passion for some particular person that led you with the chariot, uh, making a decision, and going fast after. Give me more. Looking at the harvest. Looking at the harvest. You have built. Focus. On a particular situation, a spontaneous, actually, you're focused on your harvest and what you have built with this spontaneous person, this page of wands. She got how this person has their eye on that one. Which leads to a tower moment. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Which leads to a tower moment. Oh, too many cords. Which leads to a tower moment. 
Okay. Clarification for my Capricorn. All right. Clear messages, please. So, okay. You meditated and got clarification on an opportunity or a passion that led to you making a decision and going out of it quick. Looking what you have built with this page of wands, a spontaneous person, which they have their eye on a particular something, a person, have their eye on you, which leads to a tower moment. Let's see. This tower moment, people are jumping out. The whole structure at the bottom is gone. Okay? This tower moment had to happen. Give me more. On this, at the, what happens after the tower, Spirit? Give me more. Too many cords. What happens? Wow. Well, the Ace of Pentacles happens after the tower moment. A divinely gathered gift from the universe with happiness. So honestly, this is a good tower. This is a good tower. You actually had to meditate and heal to get clarification on who you truly had passion for. Okay? You went quick, made a decision in a hurry because you look back on what you had with this particular person. Which made your life lead in the tower, which is a whole transformation from obviously this was not a solid built connection because the 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 bottom of the tower is erupted, it's gone. But this tower is a good tower. Towers can be good also because it comes with an ace of pentacles. It comes with a divinely got it financial opportunity. And success and happiness. Wow. Anything else? Because you were juggling out a situation and looking at what you lost. So now that you're looking back on what you have and Who's looking at you? Because somebody has passion for you. It makes a tower moment. But it's a good tower. that leads to a divinely guided opportunity. Which is the ace of pentacles. In success and happiness. With the sun core. Because you were juggling. A situation with the two of pentacles. Because of a five of cups situation. You know, because of you sacrificing, because of you looking at the cups that spilled over and not at them cups that standing behind you that's full. Spirit top. Why the six of swords, Spirit? Let's get some of these cords. Why the six of swords for your advice? Spirit, why the six of swords for Capricorn's advice? Whoa. King of Cups. So you want to escape a situation. You want to escape a situation as the King of Cups. And then it's crazy because you have the Six of Swords clarifying the Six of Swords. I'm not lying. So. The divine is telling you to try to escape a situation. You are stagnant. You're stag stagnating yourself. Like you need to move. Six of swords on six of swords. That means you need to escape a situation that involves a king of cups. Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's three different energy. I told you, you got too many people coming out. Too many people. I think 
think you was trying to escape. You trying to escape a situation to come with somebody with a solid love offer. This is what the divine is telling you to do. This is what the spirit is telling you to do. Escape a situation and come to somebody with a solid love offer is the king of cups. The king of cups is someone that's been hurt. Someone that does not like being vulnerable. Someone that is scared to really give out their cup. So when they give out their cup, they're dead serious. They're not playing no games. They don't want to be hurt. He has a big cup to give. So it's a solid love opportunity with a page of wands, king of coins. A solid page of wands comes in quick, but he comes in with passion, but also coming in as the king of pentacles. That's your energy, Capricorn. Okay? So you coming in as the king of cup and the king of pentacles to this page of wands, like the page of wands, working hard. The page of wands is someone that's a thrill seeker, somebody coming in quick, that has a lot of passion, but a page is a page, so a page really ain't got too much to offer. But somebody's going to this page of wands. But this page of wands is also, no, you are the king of coins. So this page of wands, you're trying to escape someone that has a solid love offer. You need to escape, trying to escape someone that has a solid love offer and commitment. That's coming in quick. That's what's going on. That's coming in quick with a lot of passion. To the king of coins, which is you, the king of pentacles. And you're working hard. Eight of coins. The eight of pentacles. So you're working hard on your heartbreak. And someone's trying to come in quick. With a lot of love and a solid lot love offer, when you still working to heal, mm -mm -mm. which is toxic. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, which is toxic. It makes you look at all that you have lost. And not what you have. This toxic relationship that hurts you broke you down. So you need to escape someone.